We are picking up right where we left off, my friends. In the story mode, we had just gotten through the tutorial and the boss fight, and welcome to Splatoon 3. There's my little buddy there with the crazy mohawk, and that is just so cool. I wonder what's laying in the wake for us today. I'm excited to find out. So in the last one, we entered a tornado in the end. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. And it kind of whisked us away from the desert into this winter biome. Really interesting, we can shoot ink onto the snow as well. And we just have our starting gun. Agent 3, over here! Whew, I'm so glad you're alright! Oh, she, the girl in the middle looks like she's angry. You are Agent 3, right? Gramps fully enlisted you in your small fry. Yeah, I knew it. I see the look in your eyes that he's always looking for. Well, it's nice to meet you. I guess we should introduce ourselves. I'm Agent 1 of the new Squidbeak Splatoon. Hey, I'm Agent 2. Come on, Agent 2, get pumped. Anyway, one last crew member to introduce you to. This is our captain. Look at those big earrings, or whatever those are on her ears. I don't know. Maybe those are headphones? Ahem. Anyway, it looks like you and Gramps got separated in that fall. This place is huge, and it's filled with that horrible fuzzy ooze stuff, and now we have to find Gramps before he, like, tastes it or something. Yeah, he probably would try that. Aw, oh, you make it sound like it's not gonna be fun. But seriously, please help us look for Gramps. So, uh... Oh, they're in. Probably just too excited about looking for someone else's grandpa to speak. So, Gramps reeled in a new Agent 3. Glad to have you. What happened to the last Agent 3? We've never been here before either, but here's the tour anyway. <laughs> They're giving a tour of a place they've never been. We think this place is called Alterna. Who knew it was beneath the crater this whole time? We counted six different islands so far. What should we call them? Sites or something? Like a website. Uh, are you even going to mention the humongous rocket over there? Look at that! Way to steal my thunder. Anyway, we put a tracking device on Gramps, as one does. <laughs> but we're getting a strong signal from three different areas. Agent 3, your mission is to check all three of those places out. We upgraded your map a little bit. Tell us how much you love it. Put a tracking device on your grandpa. Everyone does that, right? Now it tracks the places you've already visited and lights up when you're near anything interesting. Like when I'm nearby or buried treasure, I guess. We're here to look for Gramps, not treasure, and I can hardly think Agent 3 needs a little Cali tracker anyway. Wait, Agent 3 is totally out of power eggs. Did you lose them all in the fall? Oh no. Yikes, your hero suit is all messed up too. Oh, don't be dramatic. I mean, sure, Agent 3 will have to collect power eggs and upgrade from scratch. Hmm, I guess an explanation would help. First, they'll need Sardinium to unlock access to different types of upgrades. Then they can spend upgrade points to do the actual upgrading. There's gotta be some sardinium down here in Alterna, right? If anyone can find it, it's Agent 3. She just met me, but she has so much confidence. Thank you. Wait, did you tell Agent 3 how to actually get upgrade points? No, I'm on it. Agent 3, just ink lots of stuff and find items. I guess it isn't rocket science, which is a shame because it seems like we might need some rocket science. Okay, just spray ink everywhere, okay, and uh, hopefully we'll get it. Never mind that for now, I'm getting a strong Gramps-like signal from the next site over. Go check it out! Fine, Grandpa. Ink stuff up, turn it yellow. I feel kind of bad because we're going to turn all this snow yellow and inky, and it's not going to be the beautiful white puffy stuff anymore, but we got to get upgraded, right? Okay, here we go! I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I've never actually played the Splatoon series before. I'm so excited for this, though. I'm pretty sure we want to get through this one. We can throw a little guy up here, but we might need some... Okay, we need some power eggs. Hit R to give him some low eggs. So we're gonna have to find a place to get it. I think right here, yes, is where we need to go. Get to know Alterna, your only choice. The alternate choice is your only choice. Do you hear something? Ooh, creepy. System check, okay. Authentication, all systems, nominal. Commencing biometric scan. Scan complete, no matches found. Commencing registration sequence. 
Bzz, bzz, beep, beep. Good day, my name is Orca. I am what you might call a navigation system for Alterna citizens. Whoa, there's a voice? Where's the voice coming from? Welcome to Alterna, citizen. Please enter your identification to proceed. Ugh, it's like setting up a phone for the first time. I guess just follow the instructions, Agent 3. Processing, processing, processing. Ding! Your name has been accepted. Thank you for registering, Agent 3. Cool, looks like it's official. Agent 3. I have a name you know. My circuits are designed to measure your intellectual and physical prowess as demonstrated by your ability to complete missions throughout Alterna. In each mission, you must reach a goal mechanism or complete an objective. Extraordinary citizens will complete many missions and receive many power eggs. You can expect a substantial power egg payday, in particular for this first mission. May your enthusiasm result in success, citizen. Is all of that going to be on the test? Because all I really heard was POWER EGGS! That seems like the important part. We'll need plenty of those if we're going to find Gramps. One last thing. As you complete missions and become an ever more exceptional citizen, you'll naturally gain increased access to the Alterna Log. Do not attempt to share the Alterna Log without permission. Please handle the information with care. And please consider this a threat. Have a nice day. <laughs> oh, Alterna Log, huh? Well, someone, something's been added to your menu. I want to peek. Ah, uh, but I won't. I guess all we can do for now is collect power eggs and work on removing that fuzzy ooze. I mean, all you can do, Agent 3. Equipment initializing. Please select a weapon for this mission. Okay, hero gear. Get to know your gear. Load out from the hero gear. Use the D-pad and check each description. Press A to select that loadout. A loadout from your own hero gear. Okay, so we need to... All we have is this one, so <laughs> we'll take it. The mission will begin as soon as you pass through that gate. If the power eggs are required, you'll be given an opportunity to make your payment before entering. Initialization complete, data harvesting and analysis commencing. Best of luck, Agent 3. So that's it then, great. Come on, Agent 3, let's get moving. Alright, we can kind of ink up a little bit in here even. I don't know if it gives us any experience. Let's go, no fee. That's how I like it. Woohoo! Show off your skills and reach the goal. So we're just gonna have to go through the little obstacles, I'm thinking. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Alright, we can't go the other way necessarily, so I think we want to... Oh, it only goes one way. Never mind, I messed that up. <laughs> Can we jump through this one? Oh no, we can't. Okay. What if we fall? Hopefully we'll respawn at the beginning. Yeah, we get three lives. I'm gonna try to get those balloons, because... Alright, interesting. Still getting the controls down a little bit for this, but... Wow! Super cool. So if we come up here... Oh, we almost got it. Oh, we got it mostly filled. I think... Alright, we made it through here with the power eggs. Man, those balloons are kind of tough. Okay, and inside all of these we find more power eggs as we go along. This is cool, it's still kind of like the tutorial because I'm kind of easing you into it, but still you have a chance to get a lot of power eggs and stuff in here, it's great. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, moving on up. It's like a big playground for us guys. Okay, can we throw small fry up to this one? I don't know if he can- oh, he can activate those! So cool! Thank you, small fry! Nice, I thought we had to find another way up, but that was actually it right there, and here's a key. Key to success. Okay, we're fully charged on this one. How do we use this one? I forget. Uh-oh. I don't think that one worked. Alright, we can jump through the onion rings here. Oh, that's awesome. It's so funny. Are these actual onion rings? That's what it looks like to me. Delicious. Okay, so what if we destroy the Roomba here? Is that possible? Squidgy, they, f they- oh, they wash up any ink that they find. Whoa, and that one's a sprinkler. Can we destroy the sprinkler? Oh, we can, yes. So, alright. I don't know if we get more power eggs for inking up stuff. It doesn't really seem like it, so I'm just gonna kind of keep going with the objective here. But we do want to explore around and see if we can find any more before we move on. These little crates definitely... Wow, what was that? There's like a secondary power-up. We are going to need another key, it looks like, so... Keep moving forward here. Whoa, that is so cool! <laughs> that thing is really useful. Wow! 
So yeah, they have a lot of stuff in the single player mode that you wouldn't find in the multiplayer mode, so... Oh, that is amazing. Alright, we're gonna have to go back. Alright, one more time, we got it. There we go! Oh, it's kind of tough to get up there when you grab the onion ring, but it's all good. It'll come with good practice. Like I said, I don't know if they had this in the last Splatoon, but it's definitely good to practice all of these different techniques here. We shoot this one. Perfect. Those are so cool, like little rollers. Ooh, I can open it and unleash what's inside. I can do it! Trizuka, let's go! Oh man, I've never used that one, but it's extremely useful. I've seen other people do it. Alright, can we get another one? Alright, come on, buddy. There we go, perfect. And we can definitely use this one to... Yeah, I was gonna say grab some... Some ink on the ground. Splat the enemies. I think we need to get this one here. Yeah, there we go, perfect. And we are off to key number two. I love how they just teach you stuff by doing. That is definitely the most effective way. I didn't even see those other onion rings over there. Are you serious? I was up there before, but they were on the side here. Okay, let's check this out. Man, he is really efficient at cleaning. Okay, what does this one do? All right, we can definitely go up this one and limited time offer here. And it only goes one way. Okay, some little hidden goodies up here. Oh no, this guy's gonna ruin our day <laughs> cleaning up the walls. Oh no! Oh, there was another key up here. All right, I'm not too concerned about getting all the onion rings, but... And keep moving on. I think we'll have enough power eggs, no problem. All right, beautiful. Key number two is ours. Yeah, so far, I think they're just holding our hands. I don't know if it's going to get a little different than this, or... If... I know we're going to have to face more enemies, that's for sure. Alright, look at this! That is amazing. What is this thing? Let's go! We got mission complete. Get to know Alterna, your only choice. <laughs> 700 biggins. I think we have enough eggs to break through the fuzzy wall now. 776. Okay, let's go ahead and find our small fry. Yeah, let's get him over here and see if he can open this one. What? Oh, can we go in here too? This looks like uh, something weird. The little eyeball. What? Oh, wait, we can actually see with this. Oh, that's cool. That's like the thing they had in Mario Odyssey. Okay. Small fry, go get him. Oh, I gotta give him these first. Okay. Oh, that needs nine hundy. What? Okay, is there another one we can go on? 600 for this one, so... We probably could have gone through there, but I don't think it'll give us that many bonuses. I think we pretty much should go in the order that we can. Ooh. Wow, what is that? Yo, I'm glad we destroyed that! Visiting the sparkling city of chaos, the hottest place in the Splatlands, Anarchy Avenue, walk it, feel it, live it. Ooh! Looks like a fun time. Okay, so we can probably destroy all of those up there. There's a bunch of different challenges. What caused the Big Bang? You! <laughs> okay, so... What is this? We have Eliter 4K, 1400 point reward. Oh man! An Eliter 4K scope. Wait, can we do both of these? Like, or is it just one? Because I'd prefer to have the one with the scope. Alright, we need 50 challenges. Good thing we didn't use all of them. Destroy all the targets, okay. Oh, uh, I don't know if we have to be charged up all the- wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 hold on, what? Do we have to be that fast, or wait, what's going on? <laughs> oh, we just have to fire in the middle, what? <laughs> I thought we had to hit him individually. That was 1400 points in 6 seconds. Alright, so not everything is gonna be a super long adventure. If we can get 1,400 more power eggs, because it said, like, either one of them are fine. Destroy all the targets in one shot. Oh, yeah, we can. It looks like you can do with either one. So maybe we can get another 1,400 for using the non-scoped. That is crazy. All right, let's try it. Oh, 300. Okay. So it did go down dramatically, but hopefully we can do it. 50 point entry fee. Oh, yeah, we just got to hit the thing in the middle. Oh no, alright. Ah, I, I did it in two shots. I don't know if that's gonna count for anything. 
Oh, it does count. Okay, so even if you do it in two shots, it's fine. All right, we are outie. We got another 300, and we can break open a lot of stuff, actually. I'm glad we don't have to use that other one. Oh, yeah, we can get up there. Sweet. So we have Relic Restoration. Cover mu as much as you can with ink. We've been playing the multiplayer Surf Wars. Oh, look, 1776. The year America was founded. Very awesome. This mission will introduce you to the hobby of extreme face painting. Explosher Burst Bomb. Oh, baby. This is so cool because we get to use like all of the all of the weapons in a brand new way. So good. And we're getting decontaminated. Oh, I think we want to use... Wow, this is so cool, dude. Okay. And we'll go over here. Is there a time limit? There has to be, right? Okay, all of this stuff is already covered in ink, though. But we can get experience points. Uh, from doing this. A lot of experience points. Oh, wait, we can ink this thing. No way. That is so cool. So we're supposed to use these to be able to reach everywhere and, and to ink them. That is a really neat idea. Okay. Take me up. Ah, okay. You know what? Let's get the bottom parts while we're still around here. We have inked 20%. Okay. So I think, yeah, this is the one we, we definitely wanted to do. This is so cool, one of those statues, the Stonehenge ones. Okay, yeah, I think the grenades are probably better than the slosher. I don't know exactly if they- how much more they take or anything, but they seem to be better at covering at least different areas. Yeah, even the slosher takes quite a bit of ink. Don't want to leave even a little bit uninked. Oh, oh, wait, you know what? We could, yeah, I was going to say, we could probably swim up this statue and just like start inking it on our way up. <laughs> they want us to use the platforms, but you can just like run up it. <laughs> this is so much easier because you don't have to do it from far away and hope that your ink just hits where you want it to go. <laughs> way better. Oh, wait, wait, can we... Yeah, we can get around. I was just like, ah, oh, we might fall a little bit when you're trying to move, though, is the only thing. Oh, no, actually, it's it won't let you go any higher than this, really, so... Maybe if we go on this side, we can, like, get his nose. Kind of move around here. I would like to get a place where I could stand. That would be nice. It look like we might be able to- yeah, we can make it up here, totally. Alright, we are on the statue's nose, let's go. Nobody knows. <laughs> this is great. So much better than using the platforms. Recommended platforms are no good. Can we jump up here? Perfect. Alright, we're on top of- them. oh, power eggs up here. Ah, so they- they did know about this and they wanted to reward people who were adventurous. All right, on the way down. Okay, I can use the platforms now to get a little bit more. That is a very blue statue. Pretty sure we got about 100%. Oh, over there. Can we go over there? Kind of finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got 100% of that statue, so... I'm outie. Let's go! Come on, all right. That was really cool. It was really fun getting the ink. It took six minutes, but we got 1,200 eggs, so I'm happy. And just like that, my friends, we are up to almost 3,000 power eggs. I think we can definitely start unlocking different things here. Really, really cool. All right, let's see here. Where should Fuzzy go next? Are there any more that we can... Oh, look at this over here. There's something... Over here, like a Pokeball or something. I don't know, what is this? Do we shoot this? Oh, whoa, yo! You got a Sardinium! Oh, you can use that to upgrade your hero gear? No way! It was just hidden right there. Alright, let's check out the hero gear here. Automatically marks nearby enemies and enemies while you're submerged in ink. Okay, so we need three to upgrade that. We only have one. What's this? The Alterna Logs. This is what he said not to show anyone. As technology advanced to an exponential pace, so too did prosperity and the ultimately conflict. Before long, the entire world was embroiled. Oh no! Embroiled! This is terrible. Okay, can we move down? 
all of its kind of code. I'm guessing we'll kind of unlock it as we move along here and get to know more about this whole situation. Really, really cool. Okay, can we unlock this one? Yes, we can. So we're going to eat our little fuzzy thing here, have small fry eat it rather, and you get actually upgrades from doing that. That's pretty cool. Okay, and there is a challenge here. Very nice. Let's go in. Become one with your small fry. All right, here we are. Use R to throw a small fry. Yes, we get to use small fry. Let's go. That'll be super fun. He's going to be our weapon today. And it's a very low entry fee, actually. Work with small fry to reach the goal. Maybe we're going to have to throw him through here. I guess this is time to shine. I love that we can see his abilities here. So he can hit those little puffer fish. <laughs> get some puffer fish. Shout out to Mackie. Okay, we have to use small fry. Oh, 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 I see. Maybe toss him over there. At the target? What does he do with the target? Let's go, dude! That is so good. <laughs> small fry for the win. So good. I didn't even know he could hit these targets. So, makes sense. And this is kind of a unique... Definitely a unique challenge here. You gotta figure these things out while they're going. Okay, can we get... Oh, 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 no, no. Oh, no. Alright, is he still going to keep attacking it? He might just keep attacking it for... I don't know how long he's going to do it, but we missed the boat on that one. Oh yeah, we're going to have to do it again! Wow, okay, we made it. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it was tougher than it looked. It's kind of moving at the same time. There seem to be a few directions we can go. Maybe just this one. Yo, no! <laughs> okay, we're going to have to jump on these. At least we can go into the inkling form here. I kind of feel like I'm at a carnival. And there's a key in the middle here. Beautiful, let's go. Key status nabbed, that's right. It looked like there might have been something up top here. Oh no, small fry. <laughs> no small fry, oh no. It's kind of funny that that's his legit name. You just call him small fry. Okay, yeah, look at this up here. We got a little bonus bunch of eggs there. 25 eggs, I'm sure that'll come in handy. And I believe this, yeah, just needs the key. Let's keep going. This is cool. It reminds me kind of of Treasure Tracker. You're in kind of a suspended place or the thing from Kirby where you're in just this weird zone that just has like kind of strange stuff going on in the background and you're just figuring things out. Okay, what, what is this? <laughs> I'm so confused. Can we do anything? Oh, I think we have to turn it enough to make the reactions. Yo! Oh, I see. We gotta turn this one first. This is a cool puzzle. Wow. Just like that. Alright, perfect. It was off just a little bit, so it didn't count. Let's see this beautiful reaction. Boom, boom, boom. This is how a video goes viral. Just like that. <laughs> that is so good. We get lots of those power egg custard cups. They look like a dessert right there. And then also this one, plus 75. I'm alive. I don't think we want to go that way, though. There seemed to be something over here that we could do first. Oh, that was just the viewpoint. Okay, never mind. So I need to remember the eye is the viewpoint, which kind of makes sense. All right, let's check it out over here. Awesome. We have the final checkpoint. This contraption's pretty big, too, huh? It's like you're supposed to climb the wall. Yeah, we'll take a look at this. All right, we want to turn this. All right, turn that one and get through the onion ring for the victory. Sounds like a trip to Burger King because they're really famous for their onion rings. Okay, do we want to go up here first? I think we want to throw small fry from here. Oh, small fry. What happened? All right, so we can just do that and then we just throw them here. Is this how we're supposed to do it? I feel kind of like this is cheese, but maybe not. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It worked. Let's go! <laughs> oh yeah, we got to use small fry to get this one too. That was so fun. Just using small fry all over the place. Become one with your small fry. 12 hundy in the bank. All right, we finished it up. Get another 1200. We are up almost 4,000. Future Utopia Island. That has some high hopes for their island. I like it. I like the optimism. 
All right, what do we got in here? We have another long ago, the splatted lands were almost washed away by a great flood. All was presumed lost until three lights appeared and united to consume the disaster. Thankful for their salvation, the townsfolk threw a festival with three portable shrines as a tribute. Okay, so we're collecting these little pages here, and this seems like a really good place to stop with the legend of the flood, just like Noah's flood. It's amazing. If you guys are continuing on with the series, then just let it play in the playlist. And yeah, we're going to continue with this one on the next time. I want to keep these around half an hour. Till next time, happy splatting and God bless.